Today's curious object from the zoo comes from our collection here at Paynton. It is a single entity that is spiral in shape. It has seven walls, is roughly the size of my hand, and is dark brown in colour with lighter brown stripes. Today's curious object from the zoo is a shell of a giant African land snail. Originally from Africa, this super-sized snail is now found on every continent except Antarctica. The shell of the snail is mostly made up of calcium carbonate, and it's the snail's exoskeleton. This means there are no other bones inside the snail's body, and all of its organs, like its heart, lung and stomach, are all in there together in the soft part of the snail protected by the shell. A giant African land snail can retract fully into its shell and stay there for up to three years. Also, despite the popular myth, a snail cannot remove its shell and become a slug. If a snail's shell is badly damaged, the snail can no longer survive. The bottom of a snail is called a foot. The snail's head is at the front of the foot. Muscles contract along the foot to move in a wave-like formation, which makes the snail glide. The snail trail you see left behind is a mucus that helps to reduce friction while the snail moves along the surface. Any two giant African land snails can breed with each other because each individual snail has both male and female reproductive organs. The giant African land snail can lay a clutch of up to 200 eggs at a time and lay up to five clutches per year. In most countries, including the UK, it is illegal to release the eggs of the snail into the wild. And in some countries, like the USA, it's even illegal to keep them as pets or import them for food. Yes, that's right, some people even eat the snail. But what does the giant African land snail eat? Well, it's not fussy and will happily eat most vegetation and with a healthy appetite and large snail populations, they can quickly destroy crops and other habitats. This makes the snail an invasive or alien species in countries that it does not originate from. Our final curiosity is that a snail can be either left or right shelled. Over 90% of snail species are dextral or right shelled. The other are sinistral or left shelled. Most species of snail are either all one or the other with a few rare exceptions, but some snail species have equal amounts of both. The snail here would have been dextral. We know this because if we hold the point of the shell up with the opening facing you, the opening is to your right. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to keep up to date with all that's happening here at Paint and Zoo.